Oh my God, it's amazing. Okay guys, I've got a great recipe for you all today. It is meatloaf and it is so delicious. I grew up, I never really loved meatloaf, especially the kind that has like the tomato paste topping on it or whatever that is. My husband doesn't like it either. But for Thanksgiving, he really wanted some type of quote unquote meat-like dish. So I said, hey, let's make a meatloaf. So we totally made up this recipe and we killed it. All the ingredients and the instructions are in the comment box below. So check that out. So we start off the mirepoix and we just lightly water saute that. We actually didn't do it with water, we did it with better than bouillon mixed up with some water. So it's like a veggie broth saute. And we saute the mirepoix and we added it to the Beyond Ground Beef. And we just did a really light toss just to kind of incorporate that plus some smoked sun-dried tomatoes. Now we start adding in layers of flavor. So we cheated here and we used some pre-mixed garlic from the grocery store. And then I added some cumin, some uh, onion powder, garlic powder, some cracked black pepper, and some smoked paprika. And then again, did a nice light toss. Now that everything is nice and combined, I'm adding in a flax egg. Sorry guys, my arm's blocking the camera. I didn't really realize that at the time, but we add in the flax egg as our binder. And if you want to know how to make a flax egg, just leave me a comment below and I will do a video on that and let you guys know. It's super easy, you can't taste it, and it just it totally replaces the binding um, motion of an egg. Now I have our standard loaf pan that I've oiled and we're just going to just add the meatloaf mixture to the pan and just make sure it's pressed in there but not too firmly. You see I pan this whole meatloaf with care. You don't want to over mix at all and we just lightly pack it into the loaf pan. Now it's time to put our loaf in the oven that's preheated to 400 degrees and we will bake it in the center rack in the center of the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes or until you see the crust start to pull away from the sides of the pan. And this is what you get, a beautiful, absolutely amazing, delicious meatloaf. But here's the taste test. Amazing. This meatloaf is amazing. Hold up. Meatloaf is amazing? You guys to try the meatloaf? Yeah, meatloaf. Tell me I'm going with the meatloaf. I don't want no juice on my meatloaf. Meatloaf. That meatloaf is real. That's what I said. That meatloaf is like, that's not going to be rain. That's all y'all made. Hmm? It's over, but that's that. That's done. That may not make it. I'm making a sandwich. That ain't making it. Come on. I'm going to be a sandwich tonight. By the time, by the time everybody heat that, it's the oven. That's over. I don't even know the girls going to see that tomorrow. They might. You might have to make another one. 
I promise you that. We totally made up that recipe too. Yeah. So it's that just a mirepoix, mirepoix, which is a carrot, onion, celery, mm -hmm. um, a one flax egg. I put some cumin, onion powder, some garlic, a little salt bit of salt, paprika, salt and pepper. That is, that's it. That's it. Boy, that right there. <laughs> I'm that's, that's it. Yeah, yeah meatloaf about to be gone. Yeah, that's not gonna make. So that meat, so that recipe works then. Does that work? Don't How's make. the texture of it? Mm, shit. Come on, don't bite yourself and being greedy. <laughs> he always do that. When he gets too hungry, he'll end up biting his lip because he's <laughs> chomping so hard. Damn. <laughs> you sure you missed that brain <laughs> I didn't do that all the time. But is it, is the texture of the meatloaf taste like? Meat? Like, it, it's like, it's got like a nice texture. If you said this in front of somebody, they wouldn't argue. They'd be like, this is good. But they, wouldn't they, say, they would say you use untraditional seasons. Yeah. But they wouldn't be arguing about what you use. It's vegan. At all. 